Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. Great. Thanks so much for having me here. My name is Reed Williams. Uh, I also want to introduce my friend Ben Lando, partner in this uh, adventure. And um, this is very exciting for my family, I have to tell you. We live nearby. We drive past this building every day. I've never been inside. This is a fantastic space. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to, to coming back. I have a seven-year-old daughter, though, and so she's been learning to read for the last uh, three years. And when uh, I told her that I was coming to this place, she was even more excited than I am because as a reading learner, she couldn't believe that I was going to come to Honor Bank. Um, <laughs> And so this is an inside joke in our family now, and every time we drive by, my daughter likes to get my wife's goat to say, look, Mom, there's Honor. Uh, so big moment. Thanks again for having me. Uh, a little bit about myself uh, and my friend Ben here. Uh-oh. Did I just break it? There we go. Um, I'm going to tell you about uh, now Kalamazoo uh, in a second, but uh, first, Ben is uh, a Kalamazoo native, Western grad, uh, but been all over uh, working in journalism, moved to Washington, D.C., and eventually moved to Baghdad uh, as a freelance reporter. And Ben started a publication, which he is still CEO and president of, and uh, though he is looking to move beyond that and uh, make an exit uh, so that we can focus on what we're doing here in Kalamazoo. I myself came to Kalamazoo um, when I met my wife. I came here about eight years ago. I mentioned a daughter, so we are uh, permanently settled here. Uh, I, uh, the most interesting thing that I can tell people about myself is that I am a former whitewater raft guide. I traveled all over this hemisphere. Uh, getting paid to take people over waterfalls. So if you want some crazy uh, river stories, I can tell you those. Uh, and I, uh, my day job is with USA Today and the USA Today Network. I run a team called the Storytelling Studio, and we help USA Today and about 200 other newsrooms around the country do high impact and custom presentations on their websites and native apps. So, what uh, do we want to talk about today? Why, why do I want to tell you about Now Kalamazoo? Uh, there are multiple ways to look at this problem. One of them is, you know, from my perspective, that graph that, uh, on this slide is the bad news for me. Uh, in the last 30, 40 years, the number of working journalists has gone down precipitously. That is not necessarily a problem of you or the, the people out in the, in the community, but there are other problems that are exacerbated by that fact. And I can, if you're interested and, and not a believer, I can bring all kinds of empirical research that shows what happens to communities when they become news deserts, when they lose outlets of local news and information. Uh, things as interesting and peculiar as municipal finance costs going up, not just the things you'd expect like reduced voter turnout and reduced civic engagement. So we want to fix that. And that's what Now Kalamazoo is all about. Uh, so in 2019, Ben was motivated to address what we saw as a growing problem of the information ecosystem here in, in Kalamazoo. And he launched a pop-up magazine, a print magazine actually, uh, addressing the issue of homelessness. And a lot of people credit that magazine with uh, influencing the passage of the housing millage that uh, the county voted on and has now created a multi-million dollar fund to provide housing and uh, other program needs uh, for, for homelessness in the county. In 2020, we all know what happened. Uh, so Ben pivoted to trying to aggregate the most accurate and clear information on the COVID pandemic. And that started coming out in an email newsletter and that started to grow like crazy, and that's when I got involved, because I saw that email newsletter and said, I need this as an individual. I'm not getting good information anywhere else. And the more I read day after day, the more impressed I got. And so Ben and I actually got in touch, and I said, you know what? I have a, a daughter just getting into the school system here. I uh, am an entrepreneur here. Uh, in Kalamazoo in addition to my day job and I need more and better information so how can I help make that happen? 
So in 2021, we started adding coverage topics, local businesses, entrepreneurs like the people here in this room, restaurants, investigations, and so on. And last year, we hired a managing editor as the first full-time employee of the organization. We continue to grow. We've got over 1,700 email uh, newsletter subscribers at this point. That is our primary product, though we do have a, a website. We have donors, many of them recurring. We are uh, earning grants and other sources of funding to help increase the amount of coverage that we're able to offer. And proud to say that uh, we recently learned we won five awards from the Michigan Press Association, some of them in the same categories up against the Detroit Free Press and the Detroit News and the larger news organizations in the state. And we're pulling together as many people as we can uh, to be contributors. Uh, so what does the future look like? Well, we wanna continue to grow. We have big plans, uh, so the, the biggest ask that uh, I would make today is sign up for a newsletter. It's pretty easy, comes out Monday through Friday, and if you don't think it's the best, most efficient way to get your news about what's going on in this community, I wanna hear from you about that because I do think it's pretty great. Thank you very much.